Hi, my name is Miranda. I'm a yoga teacher living in South Wales. I come across a lot of people with shoulder injuries, so I thought it would be helpful to put out a video to help those of you who do, but also those of you who have very stiff shoulders, who might be heading for an injury at some point in the future. The shoulder is a very mobile joint, or it should be, but we tend to have a very limited range of movement. We tend to do things just with our arms in front of us, maybe up a little bit, maybe down a bit, but we don't tend to really take our arms up to the full point above us or very often take our arms behind us. So we lose a lot of that freedom of movement. And that means that when we do try and do something like play tennis or throw a ball or try and reach something up from a high shelf, especially something heavy, we're much more likely to have an injury. Also, our posture doesn't help us. So often our shoulders go up by our ears and they stay there and that can cause compression or our shoulders slump forwards, we slump forwards. Front of the shoulders get very short and tight. And again, there's horrible compression that happens here. And the upper back, the shoulders, gets the muscles here get stretched and weak and are prone to tear. So I want to show you some things that can really help to put our shoulders in the right place, back and down, strengthening the shoulders at the back, opening the shoulders, the chest at the front. And one very simple thing that's quite good to know that one can do on a fairly regular basis is if you slump first just allow your body to slump not a very yogic position it doesn't feel great either but it does feel a bit familiar then I want you to visualize that you have a thread around your breastbone and visualize that thread is being pulled forwards and up forwards and up keep bringing it forwards and up really up towards the ceiling and just notice how your head has come above your shoulders, your head, your shoulders have come back and down. Close your eyes and just observe, just allow a moment for muscle memory. Just observing how that feels when your head is above the shoulders and the shoulders are back and down. It's so easy for us to slump even if it's just a little bit. and then open your eyes. And we're going to come onto the floor to begin. In fact, this lesson will be on the floor. I'm going to put out another video that will be standing exercises, and it would be quite good to do those exercises, come back to these ones, and just do them alternately. So come onto the floor, onto your back. Shoulders away from your ears, arms by your sides, feet hip distance apart. Fingers in with the thumbs in hitchhiker's hands. Inhale, when you're ready to, rotate your arms all the way around so the thumbs point down. Exhale, rotate the arms all the way, other way, all the other way, so again the thumbs point down. Inhale, rotate your arms out, all the way out, so again the thumbs point down that way. Exhale, rotate the arms all the way the other way, so again the thumbs point down. And keep going a few more times. Observing how that feels in your shoulders. So the arms need to be a little bit off the floor in order to do this. Feel those shoulders rotating. And in everything we do, if you feel any sharp pain, stop what we're doing, back out of what we're doing. Don't go as far. Less is often more. and then bring your arms down, back down by your sides. Take a deep breath in and exhale, tip your pelvis back so your lower back presses down into the floor and squeeze your pelvic floor. That's a sense of together in and up. Inhale, tip your pelvis forward so a little arch happens in your lower back. Release your pelvic floor. Exhale when you're ready to, pelvis tips back, lower back presses down to the floor and squeeze your pelvic floor. Inhale, tip your pelvis forwards, a little arch happens in your lower back. The next time you exhale, tip your pelvis back and this time roll up into bridge, peel your spine up off the floor, one vertebra at a time to come up onto your shoulders. Inhale, maybe come up a little higher but maybe just stay where you are and observe. Exhale when you're ready to roll slowly back down again, one vertebra at a time. 
as much as possible. Resting breath in at the bottom. And exhale, roll back up again. Peel your spine up off the floor to come back up onto your shoulders. Again, when you're there at the inhale, observe or maybe come up higher. And exhale when you're ready to roll slowly back down one vertebra at a time as much as possible. It may be a bit clunky. And then take your elbows out by your side. So elbows are level with your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, press down with the back of your shoulders. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press down with the back of your shoulders. Don't touch your back. Inhale, relax. And keep going, really connecting with the muscles on the back of the shoulders. Don't let your back arch, just the shoulders pressing down. few more times. Your back does have a natural little arch, so don't feel you have to flatten your back. But just don't let it arch more. And then make that the last time. And then take your hands backwards towards the wall behind you, maybe towards the floor. Some people you'll be able to get your hands on the floor. Some people you might be stuck up and that's fine too. So hands wherever they get to. Inhale and exhale, slide your arms along the floor until your fingers touch. If they reach that way, they might not get so far. Inhale, come back to where you started. Exhale, slide your arms along the floor until they touch, fingers touch behind your head. Inhale, back and keep going. Observe how that feels. It might be a lovely, easy movement, but it might be surprisingly hard. Maybe one shoulder finds it harder than the other. So just observing that. A few more times. And then take your arms in by your sides, elbows close in by your sides, shoulders away from your ears. And then take a deep breath in here and exhale, press down again with the backs of your shoulders and lift your hips up into a bridge. So back up onto your shoulders, really root down with the backs of your shoulders, lift your hips up as high as you're happy to be. Don't go where your lower back feels uncomfortable. Breathe. Really root down with the backs of the shoulders. Again, feel that connection with the muscles on the back of the shoulders. Breathe deeply. A few more breaths, keep rooting down. And come down. Arms by your sides. Inhale, when you're ready to, take your arms up towards the ceiling and over towards the floor beyond your head. Now your arms might not reach the floor. If they hang and they're not hurting, that's fine. But if you feel that it's better for you, if you want to grab a chair, then you can hold onto the legs of the chair and that can really help to give you a bit of support, but also get into the stretch where you don't reach pain. But don't go somewhere where it feels painful. If you feel pain in your shoulders here, miss this exercise out. If you're, ex if you're okay and happy here though, take a deep breath in and exhale, roll your spine up to come up onto your shoulders. Inhale, reach and stretch your hands as if you're trying to touch the wall behind you or you might just be holding on to those legs of the chair here. And when you're ready to exhale, roll slowly back down away from your hands. You should feel a stretch in the shoulders. So again, if this feels too much, if you feel sharp pain, back out of that. Inhale. Exhale when you're ready to roll back up. Peel your spine up off the floor coming up onto your shoulders. 
reach and stretch through your hands when you're there. And then exhale, roll back down again. One vertebra at a time, as much as possible to come back down. Resting breath in. And exhale one more time. And if you feel that actually you have pain in the shoulders and you can't be doing this, it would be a nice alternative just to raise your arms up towards the ceiling, over towards the floor, wherever they get to, and then just back down again. But maybe even that is just too painful, in which case, absolutely miss it out. When you come down this time, stay there. And then bring your arms down, bring your knees in towards your chest and hug and rock from side to side. Give your back a nice massage. Then if you roll over onto your side, onto your front, we're going to come onto the belly. Hands underneath your shoulders, shoulders away from your ears, elbows in. And then if you spread your fingers and do what I call an outward wave with your hands. So if you look at, the, look at me for a moment, if you have your fingers spread, an outward wave, your hands do that, but they don't move. They're on the floor. So that with the hands, but they're on the floor. So fingers spread, outward wave with the hands. You should feel your shoulders engaging as you do that. Make sure your neck is relaxed. Inhale. Come into a back bend, head and chest up off the floor, only up as high as you're happy to. Exhale, come back down again. Outward wave with the hands, inhale, come back up again. Keep the neck soft. Exhale, come back down. Again, just check that those hands are Really pressing down, outward wave of the hands, so feel the shoulders engaging. And again on an inhale, come back up. We're going to stay here if you're happy to, but make sure that where you are, your lower back is happy. Don't come up so high if it's not happy there. Check your neck. Think about your breastbone reaching forwards, shoulders down. And do another outward wave of the hands, just to make sure those shoulders are really working, firming. And come down. Then come up into a more supported back bend, but maybe it's a bit higher. But if that feels too high for you, feel free to take your elbows further forwards. But if you're happy to, if you're happy to, elbows underneath your shoulders. But don't let the elbows go out, ideally. Shoulders down, breastbone forwards. Imagine there's a magnet around your breastbone and there's another magnet on the wall in front of you and it's being pulled towards the magnet on the wall in front of you. Really feel your breastbone reaching forwards. Again, check your neck. Inhale here. Exhale, press down into your forearms and attempt to drag those elbows back. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press down into your forearms and attempt to drag your elbows back. You should feel your upper back muscles working. Inhale, relax. Exhaling again, press down into your forearms. Attempt to drag those elbows back. Feel those upper back muscles working and stay there. Check your neck again. Are you still breathing? It's very easy to hold our breath when we're making an effort. So keep attempting to drag those elbows back. Keep breathing. Listen to those muscles working. and relax and come out of it and take your elbows level with your shoulders inhale raise your arms up exhale take your arms down inhale raise them up exhale take them down inhale raise them up exhale observe stay there then the next inhale, head and chest up. Inhale, can your arms come up a little higher? Exhale, come back down. Rest for a moment. Then inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale here. 
Inhale, head and chest up. Exhale, observe. Check your neck. Inhale, can the arms come up a little higher? Exhale, come back down. Again, just to rest for a moment. And then take your arms down by your sides. Palms facing down. But take your hands up off the floor and reach them towards the back wall. You'll feel your shoulders moving away from your ears. On an inhale, head and chest up. Reach back with those hands as if you're trying to touch the wall behind you. Check your neck again. You should be looking at the floor rather than in front of you. Breathe. Keep reaching those hands back. And come down. And then come onto your back for a moment. Just after doing the back bends, we're just going to hug the knees in towards our chest and rock from side to side. And then roll over onto one side. And make a pillow with your bottom arm, both legs bent, top arm in front. When you're ready to, inhale, take your top hand along the floor, up beyond your head and behind you. Open your body out behind you a bit as you go. And then take the arm along behind you, down towards the hip, over the hip and back in front. So your inhale takes the arm along the floor, up beyond your head and behind you as you open up. And the exhale takes your arm along, back towards the hip and back over in front. And keep going, maybe close your eyes. It should feel good. If it doesn't feel good, hand on the shoulder. And the same thing, but it's just less of a big movement. So listen to your body. I haven't got very much movement behind me. I've got a wall behind me, but maybe hopefully you've got a bit more space to be less restricted. Make sure the movement you're doing feels good. And the next time, when you finish that circle, bring your hand behind your head to join the other hand, elbows facing forwards. And then inhale, take your top elbow up and back. Allow your head to be supported in your hands. Just comfortably supported. And breathe. Long, deep breaths. When we breathe in a shallow way, our body thinks it has to tense up, ready to act. So if we try and stretch and we breathe in a shallow way, we're going to be fighting ourselves. But when we breathe deeply, our body thinks, oh, it's okay, I can let go now. So really use the breath. Long, deep breaths. Just allow yourself to settle. The diaphragm is getting a stretch here, the big muscle of respiration underneath our rib cage. And when we stretch that muscle, it allows us to breathe more deeply throughout the day, every day. Then bring the elbow back up and over. When you're ready to roll onto the other side, I'm going to swivel myself around. And again, legs bent, bottom arm underneath your head, top arm in front. And when you're ready to, take that top hand along the floor, up beyond your head on the inhale, and back. And again, I haven't really got the space behind me, but I hope you do. And exhale, hand towards the hip, over the hip, and back in front. Your inhale along the floor, up beyond your head and behind you. And the exhale finishes the circle. But again, if you have any pain in the shoulder, hand on the shoulder. And just make that circle smaller. You haven't then got the weight of the whole arm. Be where it feels good. Don't be somewhere that's painful. Avoid sharp pain. 
So again, let that movement feel good. A lovely stretch, a lovely release. And then when you finish that circle, bring your hands behind your head, both hands this time. And when you're ready to, open your elbow up towards the ceiling and back. And again, allow yourself just to settle so your head is comfortably supported in your hands. And breathe deeply. Again, really use the breath. Deep breaths in. Long exhales. And again, really observe your body here. Feel your body releasing. A few more deep breaths. And then bring your elbow back up and over. And come onto your back just for a moment. Just allow your body to settle, to even out. Arms by your sides, legs bent, feet on the floor. And just take a few breaths here. And then roll over onto your side. Use your hands to push yourself up, coming up to sitting. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. If you did enjoy it, please do press like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more of my videos, I do plan to bring some more out, especially another one for the shoulders standing. And as I said at the beginning of the class, it would be quite good to do this one and then the other one and then come back to this one until you feel you have more freedom of movement in the shoulders and your shoulders feel stronger. So thank you for watching. Bye.